Okay, so we had this uh, attempted motorcycle theft um, <clears throat> October 11th. It basically, I'll call it 6 a.m. The guy was in the garage at 4.40 a.m. But I was curious how he knew the bikes were in there. And so I started backtracking on the video, and that's what you're looking at now. So this video is actually taking Saturday, hours before. This is Saturday, October 10th, 2020, and it's basically 7.25 so this is how the guy originally showed up prior to trying to steal the motorcycles. Lower left-hand corner here, and I'm going to fast forward this. I already got the photos of the guy. So there he is walking by. <clears throat> he's got backpacks and he's carrying some plastic wrapped items. It looks like a something he might have bought or whatever. So I'm going to fast forward. So lower left-hand corner, he sort of walks up, looks in the garage, goes around to the, si uh, to the gate. Of course, the gate doesn't open. Uh, upper right-hand corner, he goes to our front door, uh, actually goes upper left-hand corner to the other garage gate where he's able to look inside. Going fast forward here. He comes back around to that pedestrian gate, which is actually open, lower right-hand corner. He just walks right on in. And this is why I always say when you walk past the door, push and pull on it. Make sure it's shut. He puts his mask on. So now I'm going to fast forward. So what he does, and Here's some guy delivering food right here in the upper left-hand corner. Now, if the guy, had, uh, our thief, had still been standing there, this guy buzzed himself in to deliver food. He would have let that guy in. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. What the thief did is he goes inside, walks all the way through the garage. There's a girl in the back. She's barbecuing. Doesn't notice him. He doesn't really notice her. And then he goes back over to the motorcycles, and he, he looks at them and checks them all out and everything, and... Uh, and then he decides to leave. So now it's uh, 727, 728. After he checks out the motorcycles and what he's going to need uh, to steal them, uh, he goes to leave. And uh, then he comes back Sunday morning uh, and goes to the first gate, which is locked. The second gate is locked. And then he goes around to a house behind our building and climbs over that wall to actually get into our garage to start uh, the process. So there he is, lower right-hand corner. He's leaving the building. Upper right-hand corner, he's coming out of the gate, pedestrian gate. I'll fast forward a little bit here. He leaves the gate barely latched, like he's going to come back. And then here he is leaving. Upper left-hand corner. Yeah, he's carrying something wrapped in plastic, you know. So there he is checking everything out. And then he comes back hours later. So this is, this is how he got in. Now all I want to do is find out who left this gate open.